So Randlin, is it okay to record this conversation? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Did you get a notification from your side saying the conversation is being recorded? Yes. Yes, oh, I, gave you, I gave you permission. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Because <laughs> um, I think in the state of California, you, uh, you cannot record without people's, uh, people's permission, you know, so mm -hmm. it's good to have that permission. Yes, ma'am. So please go ahead. How long have you been with Heartland? Um, I've been with, um, I've been with Heartland for a little bit over a year. Um, so I, um, I've been with Heartland for a little bit over a year and, um, I came from, basically I made a career change when COVID hit, okay. um, as many did. Um, so I came from a, um, I came from the education industry. I was, um, I was an admissions counselor for about six years. Um, awesome, and, awesome. yeah. And big then, change. Uh, very, very big change. I, um, I unfortunately, um, I ended up getting COVID last year. Oh, I'm and sorry to so, hear that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you. And so, um, so that prompted me to resign from my position and find something that didn't jeopardize my health so much. Correct. So, you know, um, so, you know, Heartland's been a really great place for me. They, they care about their people, mm. um, which I'm very thankful for. And they even, you know, accommodate me, you know, working from my home office. Um, I'm a long hauler. So I have, I still have issues with, from having COVID a year ago. So they, they work Sorry with me. Yes, yes, yes. No, that's um, okay. There are, there are much more people out there that have had it worse than I, so I'm thankful to be here. Correct, correct. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, it's always good to be fortunate, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, this whole COVID thing, you know, uh, uh, I don't think anybody saw this coming, you know, like I've never seen an illness like I had a meeting with somebody yesterday. He's a little bit older than you, you know, um, but with him, he lost his sense of smell and sense of taste and um, like he can eat, but he cannot taste anything, you know? So um, it's, it's, it's just a nasty, nasty, nasty virus. You know, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it, it, it's just really unfortunate. Yes, ma'am. So yeah. please talk to us about our business. You know, so what, what do you like, um, what do you focus like who would be a great referral for you so heartland so heartland we really work with all types of different business owners we work with um brick and mortar establishments and also mobile businesses and online businesses as well okay so we um i mean in terms of the size of business i mean we work with small business owners all the way up to you know multi-million dollar annual businesses so we, um, our services that we offer, they're all personalized towards what the needs are of the business owner. Mm. So they're not, they're not cookie cutter plans, as we would say, right. you know, um, because every business owner is going to have different needs. And then also, you know, especially if they're operating their business differently than the next person, you can't give them the same solutions, you know? Correct, correct. So, um, so in terms of the industries that we work with, I mean, uh, pretty much everything except the cannabis industry we work with. Um, cannabis is off limits right now. Um, <laughs> but other than that, we work with all different types of businesses. Um, Heartland Payment Systems, we offer uh, card processing solutions, whether they're okay. on-site, mobile, or we also do e-commerce solutions as well. Mm. A lot of business owners are looking into contactless payments and ways to collect payments without actually you know, having interaction with a customer. Um, so we've really seen a huge increase in that. Um, but then also um, we offer point of sale. We have point of sale systems. We, we can do system integrations if, you know, the business owner already has equipment that they're coming on board with and things like that. Um, with payroll, payroll, um, payroll, we do uh, direct deposit. We do tax filing. They do reports, um, mm. CPA access and general ledger. And then also um, like HR tracking and time. Um, and then they also help build like employee handbooks um, and, and can assist business owners with the onboarding process, making sure they stay compliant with labor laws and things like that. Beautiful. Um, and then we also offer um, like benefits, like things like PTO and 401k, workers comp and insurance, like things that business owners need to make sure that they have to protect themselves and their business. Sure. So, so we try to provide just kind of a, a host of different services all under one umbrella. 
Beautiful. Um, and with our with our merchants um, that we work with, you know, if they have one one of our services, whether it be payroll or processing, but you know, one or the other, you know, um, we offer discounting and things like that, you know, for them having all their solutions under one roof. Sure, sure. So uh, you basically bundle them together, so uh, that way the price comes down for the other products as well. That's outstanding. So when you say insurance, are you an insur uh, Are you a licensed agent? No, so we we um, we determine what the needs are. So we so with our payroll department, like I have a payroll partner that I work with, and sure. he actually has people that he works with um, in terms of you know people that are associated with the Affordable Care Act and work comp and things like that. Hmm. So our payroll people, they do all the paperwork and all the communication with those other entities to make sure that the businesses are set up the way that they need to be. So, um, and then also too, one of the things that we do like for payroll, have you ever heard of the WOTC credits, the work opportunity tax credits? Have you ever heard of those? I've kind of heard about it, yeah. In the state mm -hmm. of California, like uh, well, that's one of, uh, it's in one of the stimulus bills, I believe. So if they mm -hmm. hired some employees, then they get some tax credits, something like that, right? Yes, um, and the work opportunity tax credits are huge. Um, and there's, there's several different, uh, I guess, um, different criteria that somebody can meet okay. there's like um i think there's like i want to say there's eight or nine different um you know things that can can deem a person eligible for the watsi -E credits okay. so a business owner can earn up to ninety six hundred dollars in tax credits per employee beautiful um and then also the employee retention credits or the erc credits is something that they also included in that bill that you're referencing to, to award employers um, tax cuts and, and credits for keeping their, their employees on payroll during the pandemic. Beautiful. So, and then they're also, um, and we can also backdate as well, which is really cool. So if they were keeping employees on payroll previous to working with us, hmm. and we uncover that they actually had employees that they've kept on payroll, Sure. We can actually make an amendment and we can backdate the ERC. So all the paperwork. Beautiful, beautiful. Do me a favor. Um, do you have any kind of brochures, like a digital brochure, uh, at least talking about the program? It doesn't need to have all the details, but if you can at least, um, for example, um, if you can just uh, have a brochure which explains that, you know, um, uh, employers can possibly claim this uh, particular um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, tax credit, but but you know you can help them with the process. You, you know, um, uh, if you can send me like a one or two page brochure, you, you know, on that particular uh, subject, that would be awesome. But I also had one more question: What sure. about things like executive bonus plans? What about things like um, buy sell plans? You know, if you're a partnership. Do you get it? Because those are also products that business owners use, but is that something that you guys do? What what kind of products again, Raj? Buy, sell, buy, sell agreement. Buy and sell agreement? Yes, and also um, like executive bonus plans. Do you guys do any kind of executive bonus plans? Well, I, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, if maybe you're, you're, the terminology you're using is maybe a little bit different. Now, are you talking about like um, for referrals and things like that? Or are you talking about like an actual service that we provide, like us asking if we provide a certain service? Uh, actually, the question I asked was, is that a service that you provide? Because, because you know, you also mentioned that you do insurance and a b bunch of other things uh, that are, um, that are, you know, that are uh, uh, services that a business owner needs. So like, um, is this a product that you guys offered under the Heartland umbrella? Oh, no, the, um, as far as the insurance, the insurance is all through the Affordable Care Act. So, um, so Blue Cross, Blue Shield, you know, and the others. Um, so traditional, traditional insurances that are in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. But to sell those particular products, you need a health license, you know, because insurance is regulated. Right. You know, um, the, 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 so uh, where I'm going with the story, so you are using referral partners. Is that what you're saying? So when you do run into a situation where somebody needs a group health insurance, you just connect your referral partner and basically connect, uh, have them do the deal. Is that what you're talking about? 
Yes, we have specialists. Like for example, we have like we have we have work opportunity tax credit specialists, you mm -hmm. know, and we have different people that we work with um, on our payroll team. So we have people that are that are assigned for specific things that we're offering as a specialty offering, basically. Beautiful, beautiful. So, so, so you know, um, uh, I would love to, you know, partner up with you because I, de I deal with a lot of business owners here in the Sacramento area, you know, a lot of brick and mortar businesses. So um, mm -hmm. please send me some information, you know, so I can share it with them. And if somebody's interested, I'll be happy to connect them with you. Okay. And maybe, maybe we can partner up and, uh, you know, do some business together. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that would be great. Um, and also too, Raj, um, since you do know so many business owners, um, you know, we do actually have an affiliate program for, for people that refer. Sure. So if it's something, you know, that we move forward with after, you know, let's say for just as an example, let's say that you send, um, you, you refer a couple businesses over to me and let's say that they are installed with services, whether it's payroll or payment processing, then after after three three referrals that you've sent over are installed with services sure. you're actually eligible to become a referral affiliate which would mean that they're forward anybody that you refer you're actually compensated on um, you would actually receive residual checks on the third week of each month and then the first three clients that you referred that are installed you would be paid on those retroactively the moment you become an affiliate um, so it's very, and it can be really lucrative. I mean, if you know a lot of business owners, um, it's something, I mean, I mean, hey, money's money, right? Um. <laughs> Absolutely. Please send me that information. But on that subject, I have a question for you as well. Mm -hmm. What about you? Would you like to be compensated? You know, if you can send me some referrals who ends up signing up for the executive bonus plan or the split dollar plans. We have a I don't want to go into each and every single one of them other than the fact that these are all products that are targeted at small business owners. Since at the end of the day, you know, you and me, we are both going after the exact same community, but with different products and services. Mm -hmm. Would you be open to an affiliate opportunity as well? And the good news on this affiliate opportunity is you will get paid on the very first deal. Yeah, you don't have I mean, to wait for three deals to happen. You know, uh, I mean, different, comp I'm just letting you know, you could possibly get paid on the very first deal. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, and tell me tell me a little bit more about your services because I know we you kind of shared, you shared some with me, but five minutes is not really enough, right? You're right, you're right. <laughs> I will send you a little bit of more information. You know, I'll send you uh, actual videos that go into depth of what these products are. But mm -hmm. just to let you know, you know, some of the things that we focus on is living benefits. Do you know what living benefits are? Yeah. So, so basically like ones that like not, not life insurance, but benefits that you can, that you can like basically kind of, you can extract from a, from a plan that you're paying into while you're alive to put towards other things that you need to purchase. Right. You are almost right. You know, you're like 70 to 80 percent right. But, but, okay. but what it is, is living benefits is a rider attached to your life insurance policy. But traditional life insurance policies, you know, uh, they either have cash value or death benefit. But for this example, let's say they do not have cash value, you know. So if they just had a death benefit, then you have to actually die before somebody else gets the money. You know, it could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be your children, it could be whoever, you know, whoever is the beneficiary that you designate. Mm -hmm. But with traditional life insurance policies, you actually have to die before somebody is going to see the money. Right. But living benefits, when they're at a rider attached to the life insurance policy, they still have death benefit. But if you ever hit like stage one cancer, for example, when you're 70 years old, 80 years old, you know, or if you have a stage one heart attack or there are like 15 different health conditions, you know, but um, uh, you, 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 even if it's a mild one, you know, um, you may not die from it, but you still have medical expenses. You know, you're going to have lost, uh, like you cannot work for a couple of months, so you're going to have um, lost income. So you're going to have all those expenses. Mm -hmm. So the good news on living benefits is they will pay you a certain percentage of the face amount when you're still alive. 
Yes, ma'am. So um, the, that's the advantage of the um, uh, of the living benefits. I'm just going to shut my phone off. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're okay. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, obviously yeah. a busy guy. That's no problem. And thanks to the alienable group, you know, I've just connected with a bunch of people and I'm talking to, even if we are halfway across the world, you, you, you know, I'm still talking to uh, all of you guys. And it's really amazing because um, mm -hmm. uh, if it were not for alienable and if it were not for Al who put together that group, you know, you and me, chances are that we would have never probably met because you're not in Sacramento, you know, and I'm not, what city are you in again, Randlin? I'm in I'm in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma. You would never I've come here. To Oklahoma once. Sorry, go ahead. What's that? No, I said I was joking. I said you would never come here. <laughs> I actually drove through Tulsa, Oklahoma, like 20 years ago. Like I didn't actually <laughs> stay there, but I actually drove through Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, mm -hmm. so I remembered um, because back in my IT days, you know, I used to travel from one city to another, and a lot of times I used to just drive from one place to another. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. So I do remember Tulsa, Oklahoma very well because I hit Tulsa, Oklahoma around four o'clock in the evening. Yes, ma'am. During peak traffic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And people out here don't know how to drive either. That's another thing. I'm I'm from California, too, as I had shared with you. So um, where in yes. California are you from? Um, I was born in San Luis Obispo, if you know where that is. Well, that's near uh, Southern California, right? That's near Los it's, Angeles. It's, yeah, it's about an hour and a half north of Santa Barbara. It's like it's like the halfway point between the Bay Area and Los Angeles. It's right there off the 101. Beautiful. But beautiful. um, but I have family in the Bay Area as well, so I'm awesome. really I'm really familiar with Northern California, and um, I've just actually been out here for about six years or so. So I'm I'm a transplant. I'm a, I'm a California girl all the way, Raj. Beautiful. Big difference, you know, between <laughs> Oklahoma and uh, and San Obispo. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the beach here, you, you know, in, uh, in Santa Barbara. And the great weather. And the yeah. great weather. Yeah, the weather yeah. out here is awful. I mean, yeah. Tornadoes, like, do you enjoy the tornadoes? Or, uh, you know, what is no. the hurricanes? Do you get some hurricanes? <laughs> No, we um well in the area of Oklahoma that I'm in, I'm in um I'm in Oklahoma City, Edmond area, which is like right in the middle of the state. So in the area that I'm from, we don't really have uh, we have more thunderstorms and hail than we do anything else. Um, but I've only had to go to my grandma's to wait for the storm shelter one time since I've been out here, thankfully. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So I haven't been in any tornadoes yet, but other than that, the weather still stinks. It's still very, very hot. Mm. Um, you know, in one day it'll be 20 degrees. The next day it'll be 70. Okay. It's, what about snow? Do you get snow there? Um, here and there, um, during like the, like the winter times, for sure. We've had a couple freezes. Um, sure. and of course, you know, the freeze that we had some months back. Right. Um, that was awful. Um, yeah, that was really terrible, but yeah, we, we've had, we've had a couple ice storms and stuff out here. Awesome. Um, yeah, so we just... As long as your home environment's great and you've got heating and air, you can weather any storm. You know? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. That, that's the good news. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. There are natural calamities everywhere, you know, but but it's a matter of where you are and, you know, what kind of support system you got. Yes, ma'am. Yes, definitely. So, so that's one thing, you know, living benefits is one thing that we focus on. The other thing we, we got going on, which makes us unique is the interest that we have paid on our uh, products, you know, the uh, index IUL and the annuities mm -hmm. is that um, uh, it's an uncapped index, you know, so that means there's a chance to make significant amount of um, interest, whereas most other companies would cap that interest rate at like 11%, 12%, you know, you still are down, downside pr protection, meaning Let's say you've got a hundred thousand sitting inside your annuity. You know, so long as you hold it for the entire term, like depending. Uh, let's say you've got a ten-year annuity. I'm just taking a simple example. So long as you don't take uh, more than ten, you are allowed to take up to ten percent out each year. But let's forget about that. You know, let's say you actually held your entire hundred thousand from beginning to the end of um, uh, the ten-year period you're guaranteed to walk away with at least 100,000. So your original uh, investment, uh, sorry, uh, original deposit is um, protected. And 
you also get interest each year and you only get positive interest. So, um, uh, the, so long as the index performs, you know, um, more than zero, that's when you, you get in, interest and then it's locked at the end of each year. So let's say at the end of the first year, you know, uh, the index went up like uh, 30%. I'm just taking a simple example. Sure. Then you're going to get 30% credited to your account but the next year, let's say it went down 10%, you know, uh, which tends to happen with a lot of your 401ks and other products. Here, the good news is it's still locked in at 130,000. So it's not going to go down. So it doesn't, so it doesn't like roll over per se, like each year is separate and closed. Oh, that's awesome. The beginning of each year and the end of each year um, is when the interest get credited. And the good news is only positive interest get credited. And when you do have negative periods, you know, you still go sideways so you don't lose money. But then mm -hmm. the third year, let's say it went up 5%, you know, so then you're going to get 5% of 130,000. So it's compound interest. So over a long period of time, you know, you'll see that indexing is a uh, uh, as a strategy, you know, it's, it's, it's probably going to give you the best uh, possible returns on mm -hmm. the money that you got. And then, um, yeah, so uh, it's a, it, uh, and in some of the products, it's a combination of the living benefits with that indexing strategy. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I mean, that that's awesome. And, and then and the other good news is zero fees. Like so long as you don't buy any of the riders, if you're just uh, buying that annuity, you're mm -hmm. going to have zero fees as opposed to a lot of 401k programs where they're going to charge you. Like I think legally they can charge you up to 10 different fees or whatever it is, you, you, mm -hmm. you know. So um, uh, this is very cost efficient. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's really wonderful too. And, and what you're talking about, it's what's the unfortunate thing is, is there's a lot of people that don't know that this kind of stuff is out there. And then the other half of the people don't have the opportunity to invest so that they can have those things in the future. Correct. You know what I mean? So um, that's, that's where really... the opportunity is. Yes, ma'am. And the good news that's is amazing. what are we are doing is, you know, like even though there are lots of insurance companies, we are unique. You, 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 you know, like you need to be appointed with Freedom Equity Group to be selling this particular product. You know, like you cannot do this through any other provider. So um, mm -hmm. that's what gives us a competitive advantage. Uh, you, you know, so I will send you some information about all this stuff, you know, after we are done with this call. So please go through those videos. Yeah. And you are welcome to participate in the uh, affiliate program as well. And that's an opportunity for you to make hopefully a lot of money. Yes, ma'am. Okay. No, that would be wonderful. Um, and that's definitely, yeah, if you have some, um, yeah, if you have some, some information, like um, outside of the videos, if you have any PDF documents that you can send me. We do have the marketing brochures as well. I'd be happy to send you some marketing brochures. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sure. Yeah. And then that way I can save it. Um, I can save it on my desktop and, uh, you know, that way, you know, because I, I interact with business owners all the time, you know, and the ones that I've built relationships with that, you know, trust me, you know, I can, you know, have conversations with them, you know, just to kind of, you know, ask questions here and there as far as what, you know, what, what that looks like for them. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. That's wonderful. And also if you have some money in your um, previous job, you know, the 401k is that you're trying to roll over into an IRA and whatever, you know, please let me know. You don't need to share that in this particular conversation, but uh, please text me the information so I can run the numbers for you, you know, so you can take a look at the numbers and see if it makes sense for you or not. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm going to have to check. I'm going to have to check into that because, um, because the previous, um, the, the school that I was at, they, um, I think that they are, um, I'll have to check on that because I know that yeah, they don't are, share um, any information here in this video because it's being recorded, but oh, sure. outside this conversation, all that I'm saying is if you got some paperwork, you know, just send it to me and we'll take a look and uh, we'll generate an illustration for you. So you can take a look and see if it makes sense to you or not. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'll have, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll have to check on that because I know that the, um, the school that the school that I left, um, they're doing a teach out right now because all their schools are shutting down. Do, do, they do, do a what? All the schools are shutting down that I was at because Correct. of COVID. Yes, yes, um, yes. So they're doing a t what they call a teach out because the campuses are all closing. So I'll have to, I'll have to check on that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, may, maybe there's nobody to answer the call or whatever, you know, but if you had some 401k or something, that would be through a different 
company. You know, for example, the last job that I had, even though I worked for a company, you know, the actual 401k provider was uh, Vanguard, I believe. So th mm -hmm. that might be an 800 number or something on your um, on your uh, statement. You know, so just take a look. Yes, ma'am. And uh, we can have that conversation outside this call. Yes, ma'am. Because I don't want to okay. go too much into your personal details in this call. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Okay. That, yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah, I'll, I'll check on that for sure. And then, um, and then from here, so, um, so what I'll do then is I'll put together um, an email um, yes. with some with some documents. And I can also, if you'd like, um, I can include a couple YouTube links for you to videos to watch, just sure. so you kind of have a, a, a just kind of a summary of everything that we do. And then, um, and then, if you have anybody that you think would benefit from having a conversation about our services, um, you can just, you know, let me know directly. Um, you can, you know, send it to me in a text message or whatever, and then we can, sure. you know, ha just have a quick conversation about kind of the, you know, what they're looking for just to kind of learn a little bit about the business. And then, um, you know, and then I can see how I can help them for any, um, for you, since you, since you, communicate with business owners on a regular basis as well. Um, one thing I wanted to say is that in the event that you come across business owners that already have these services that we're talking about in place already, let them know that we can do um, we can do pricing analysis to see how much money we can save them mm. by coming to Heartland. Um, and then there's also, um, you know, for um, like payment processing, we have like a breach protection program that covers sure. up to $100,000 in losses for their business if they're ever, if they ever endure like a breach or anything like that. Um, so there's a lot of, um, you know, so just let the business owners know, you know, if they have existing services, you know, we can do a pricing comparison so that they can see for themselves what the value is and if it benefits them, you know. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm happy to do that. You know, so please text me the question that you'd like me to ask the business owner, you, you know, uh, like, a, uh, what is it called? Like a conversation starter, you, you know, anything that will get them um, uh, qualified. So basically, because I don't want to just send you like a hundred different names, you know, and then you call these people and they just hang up on the phone, you know, that's a waste of both our times. But if you send me some questions that you'd like me to ask a business owner and based on how they respond, if they say yes to that question, you know, then I can say, hey, a lady called Randlin would be calling you to talk a little bit more, you know, because again, I don't want to go too deep into all these products, you know, because you'll be the one who's closing them. Sure. I can just help you make that connection and then you guys talk and if it makes sense, you know, they end up doing the deal with you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'll do the same thing for you on the on the executive bonus side. You, you know, so um, I will send you questions that you can ask your clients, the people okay. that you've already closed the deals, and depending on how they answered, you know, just refer me to them. Let me talk to them, and if the deal closes, you know, and then you, uh, you end up signing up for the affiliate link, you'll actually get paid from the insurance company. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that sounds great. I'm excited. Okay. Yes, I'm yes. <laughs> That's awesome. This is the best conversation I've had all day today. Yes, ma'am. Oh, right on. Well, I like yes. that, Raj. I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, just before talking to you, you know, I just talked to Al as well. So the Al is the guy who created that group, you know. So how did you end up on that alienable group? How did I? Yeah. Um, well, because I um I actually I actually stumbled upon it. Um, right. I had, um, because I, I have to do a lot of my networking from home since, Correct. since I'm not, I'm an in, I'm basically inside sales rep. Yes. And my, the way that I source referrals and things is much different since I'm kind of like living in my own little bubble due to the, due to COVID. Correct. Correct. Um, so the way that I reach people is different. So I started using Alignable for these networking things like you attended Sure. Um, so this is like my fourth, I think this is like my fourth one. Um, but that has really, really great connections. I really, um, it, I think Alignable is, is almost better than LinkedIn. Um, 100%. You know, uh, even though I've been on LinkedIn for like 10 years, I have not met a whole lot of people. You know, a lot of times I will message somebody, but they'll not even respond back, you know, but yeah. Alignable, the good news on Alignable is... Uh, 
I don't connect with like 100 people because I'm still on the free version. You know, I don't even pay for the, uh, uh, I don't even get on the premium side. So uh, sure. I get like maybe 10 connections a month, but those mm -hmm. are really good 10 connections because the people I do connect with, uh, when I message them saying, hey, would you like to meet for coffee? Nine out of 10 times, they'll say, sure, uh, when it's a good time, you know, so there's the, um, because they are interested in meeting people too, you know, it's not just one sided. So um, I've had a lot of meetings through um, through Alignable and uh, now I, it looks like they're taking it to the next level, you know, because um, previously it was all local people, you know, people from Folsom, Sacramento, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And now with these group pages, what's happening is you can just get on this, um, uh, uh, like this was the first networking event that I've attended. But the good news is there is like 160 uh, people who attended and uh, Al was kind enough to email me the full chat list, you know, so I just started yes, texting I saw that. people. Mm -hmm. And even there, uh, we, you and me, we were lucky to get on the breakout rooms, but there were a lot more people that you met through the breakout rooms, you know, because of the time consideration, because it's just a one hour meeting. Mm -hmm. But I've been texting other people uh, through that big email that I sent and I'm getting fairly good response, you know, like a lot of people want to meet and uh, because uh, nobody's local, you know, we are all doing Zoom calls and hopefully um, uh, 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 taking it to the next level in the sense that, you know, doing deals on an ongoing basis. That's the intention behind these meetings, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, but I um, wanted to ask you one quick question. Sure. You also said you are not on Facebook. What's the reason for that? You mentioned LinkedIn, but <laughs> but you've been staying away from Facebook. You know what? Like again, you don't need to get into all these details because if you have some personal issues, but can you no. just give me a good reason? Why? To, yeah, <laughs> because at the end of the day, you are networking, right? You are interested in meeting business people. Mm -hmm. So why would you not get on Facebook? Yeah, so I actually, um, I actually had a Facebook account for many years, and okay. I, I disconnected it about 10 years ago, uh, because I just, um, it was kind of a personal thing for me, because I felt like, you know, people, you know, for now that in, in a professional sense, you know, now, of course, it makes sense. But at the time, you know, I wasn't in this, I wasn't in this particular, um, on this career path. Sure. And so for me, I felt like, you know, Facebook is kind of a way where people can see how you're doing, but they don't yes. ask you, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, yes, yes. And so, and, and I'm kind of a private person and I'm kind of old school, Raj, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure. kind of old school. Yes, yes, so yes. I, I believe in picking up the phone to call somebody, you know what I mean? So that was- You're a people person. Said. Yes, ma'am. No, no, no. What are you saying makes sense? And in your previous job, you know, when you work in the school system, you know, there, maybe there was no reason for you to get on Facebook. But now with Heartland, if your intention is to connect with business owners, mm -hmm. Facebook has changed a lot. And let me explain what that means. You know, now you have business pages, you know, so a um, lot of times when you know a restaurant's name, but you really don't know the owner's name, you can message the, bus uh, the business page and say, hey, uh, hey, I'm just coming there for lunch today. You know, um, what's your name? Like you can make that connection. I'm not saying they're going to do a deal with you. But sure. at least, but at least um, uh, you're kind of making that connection. So once you actually go into the restaurant, they're actually waiting for you. You know, who's that guy who just messaged me on the business page? You know, so that gives you a little bit of advantage. And in my line of business, you know, I find that to be crucial because you could be spending like 10 years ago, you know, when you had all these chamber of commerce meetings and that kind of stuff, you know, um, you, you had to meet somebody like 10 times for coffee and uh, uh, say how you're doing, well, well, how was your weekend, you know, basically dance around like that before you can even start talking about business. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. if you actually message them on Facebook and they look at your page, because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about branding, you, you know, yeah. so you're mm -hmm. not just randomly reaching out to people. Like a lot of times when I connect with people, you know, when they go on my group page and they see 30,000 people there, they say, wow. So that builds up that reputation. So um, we go from, you know, like, how are you to, hey, how much, uh, 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 like, what kind of deal you'd like to do, you know, really fast. We are able to make that switch mm -hmm. really fast. So, um, again, but that being said, you know, there's a lot of drama on Facebook if you connect with the wrong people. You know, there's people yes. talking about... Um, <laughs> 
uh, mm -hmm. uh, political stuff and religious stuff and that kind of stuff. But the, but what I've done is I basically got and rid of, rid of all that garbage, you know. So mm -hmm. I may be connecting with you, but if I see too much drama from you, like starting tomorrow, you know, again, it's not just one thing that you post, you know, I'll give you some time, but if that's what you're doing on an ongoing basis, I'll just disconnect you, you know. So yeah. just because you're connected with somebody doesn't mean you're married to them. You know, you can always divorce very easily without doing community property sharing, yes. you know, I'm just kidding, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but, but where I'm going with the story is, there is a little bit of drama, but you can avoid it because all that you have to do is, you know, get rid of, those people and just connect with good quality people yeah. and then build, like um, you can have a profession a professional profile and just connect with uh, you know other like-minded professionals who are going in the same direction in life as you and hopefully do some deals yes ma'am mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely something to consider because i do i i kind of go back and forth between alignable and linkedin so like whatever connections i have on alignable you know, once we have meetings like this, then, you know, sure. we'll, then we connect on LinkedIn and things like that. But the moment, the moment I see posts about things like political stuff and all of that, like, you know, praising, praising Trump and all this other stuff. Okay. Unfollow poster. <laughs> correct. Correct. You know, yeah, and yeah, just yeah, kind of, so I don't have to see that negativity in my feed because I cannot deal with negativity. I mean, we have so much of it. We have so much of it. This world is a mess. I mean, let's just be honest, right? It You're really right. is. The You're world right. is a mess. So um, we we need to we, we whenever we can control our environment. Whenever you know we can create positivity, we need to do that. You know, kind of balance out all that negative crap we see. One hundred percent. But a lot of times, what you'll notice is if your profile is set up a certain way. Right now, you know, Facebook will give you friend suggestions, you know, and, and what I'm finding is the, 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 these are people that I might have never known before, but when you connect with these people, nine out of 10 times, they do not have a lot of drama if your page doesn't have any drama. You, you right. Know, you know, mm -hmm. so they're looking at, um, because when you create a profile, you know, they're taking a look at, uh, <laughs> sorry, what kind of person you are, you know, like what, what your interests are. If they think that if you start posting too much political stuff, then that algorithm is going to think that, okay, this lady is very interested in politics. So they're going to connect you with other people who are um, uh, passionate about politics. So they may not exactly be aligned with your interests, but at the end of the day, they're into politics as well. Similar. When you start posting too much business stuff, like in my case, you know, like if you look at my Facebook profile, what you're going to see is a lot of motivational stuff. Like I post a lot of Anthony Robbins and those kind of people, you know, with uplifting messages. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I'll go into restaurants, order food, you know, take pictures of the food, post it. So a lot of stuff that I post is, you know, it's all directed towards driving traffic to local small businesses. So when you start doing that, guess what? The algorithm, the, like where they put you in the bucket, you know? So they're going to think, okay, here's a guy who's very interested in business. So they're going to start connecting you with other professionals who are equally interested in business too. So again, you know, um, uh, it's something for you to think about. But yeah. I think if you're uh, the, the the big the big difference between LinkedIn and Facebook, the way I see it is in LinkedIn. Uh, on LinkedIn, I don't have a whole lot of conversation with people. You know, even though I have ten thousand connections, I probably met one or two of those people. Whereas on Facebook, even though I got uh, uh, you know um, maybe thirty thousand connections on on the group page, but five thousand connections on the personal page. Wow. I physically talked with almost uh, 100 or 200 people out of those, at least, maybe more. But the good news on Facebook is a lot of times people will recognize me at Starbucks. And like once I was at a grocery shop that I don't even normally go to, you know, because somebody else took me there. But one of my Facebook connections was there and she recognized me, you know, so it basically creates that. Uh, name recognition and a lot of times I go into these wedding parties and uh, 
you, you know, other kind of social events where I may not know somebody, but they will know who I am, you know, so that creates mm -hmm. that advantage of taking it to the next level and actually doing a business deal with them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's awesome. Perfect. Well, um, hold on, hold on just one second. I, I yeah. keep having this, I keep having this call that calls me back to back one second. I'm sorry. Okay. Hello? Hello? Maybe they got tired of waiting. Hello? You just lost a million dollar check, Randlin. It's gone. <sighs> Story of my life, Raj. Story of my life. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll make it all back. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, yeah, sorry about that. I had seen that number come through a couple of times and I didn't recognize it. So I was That's just okay. double checking. I let but, it go um, to voicemail. You know, I just let it go to voicemail because I never take a call from a random stranger unless if it's from you. Yeah. But but I've saved your number, you know, so I know Randon is calling. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have your number saved too, Raj. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Yes. So did you have any more questions, Randon? Um, no, I think that we've um I think we've covered a lot of really great things. I'm I'm certainly very excited. Um Likewise. you know, and so I will um if you'd like to, um, I have a, um, I kind of have like a, it's, it's something I put together. I call it like an about me in Heartland. And it's basically, um, it's an email. It's, it's, it's something I send to people that I'm, I'm working with just to kind of let them know, like what the expectations are that one sure. has, like when, when they talk with me, like the things that will go over, you know, and just kind of some different talking points. Um, but I'll also include in that email some questions that you can ask. But then the other part of the about me is just to kind of help you get a better idea of like what one can expect when, when working with me. Sure. So then that way, you know, for you, because you're referring those people, you know, that way you understand, you know, what that experience is like too. And I put my name on it. So I guarantee that that's going to be their experience, you know? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely send me all that information. But before I, before we leave, you know, I will strongly suggest that, uh, you know, um, try to get on Facebook because, because that way, you know, see, this conversation is great, but we are not going to be talking hopefully every single day. You know, we could be texting each other or whatever, but when you're on Facebook, you know, you're going to see each other's posts on the news feed so that um, refreshes your memory, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I find I, I avoid the drama 100% and, but for the positive side, you know, I really, really love Facebook because for two reasons. One is the connections. The second thing is you might have some hobby, you know, for example, I really, um, I am really passionate about natural healing, you know, like herbal stuff. Because Facebook knows that I'm into that kind of stuff, you know, I could spend 5,000, 10,000 bucks trying to go to college and, you know, learning about it in a school or something like that. But I get a lot of that information for free because, for example, did you know turmeric, take a, consuming turmeric can actually uh, decoagulate your arteries, you know, consuming raw beets can actually... Um, because they have nitrates, you know, it actually expands your arteries. So there's more blood going into your brain, you know, so information like this, it's not just business, you know, like educational sure. stuff. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of this information for free, you know, so which I find priceless. And in return, yes. if they're going to try to sell me something, you know, that's fine. Maybe I need those services, you know, so I'm willing to compromise on my privacy a little bit, but um, the benefits, I believe, far outweighs the negative stuff that people talk about, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, um, uh, and, and then the other thing I would say is um, please stay in touch so that, uh, you know, uh, and, and next time you come to California, please let me know so we can actually meet and uh, talk. Oh, face yeah. face. This has been an enjoyable, con very enjoyable conversation. Yes, ma'am. Definitely. No, I appreciate that. Um, and I have, and I, and I appreciate the fact that, you know, you shared those things with me and, you know, I can tell you're really passionate about what you do, which I love talking to passionate people. Thank I'm you. a passionate person too. Um, awesome. and I love, I love helping. I'm people. borderline crazy though. Yeah. I'm crazy. <laughs> hey, but when, but when you're rich, they call it eccentric. Yes, yes, yes. Do you watch Jim Carrey? Oh, yes. 
yeah, he's one of my favorite actors. But sometimes some of his roles, you know, like uh, 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 he's he sounds like he needs medical attention. You know. <laughs> yes, there are a few. Yes, yes, yes. My son, my son loves Ace Ventura. That's like one of his favorites. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, mm -hmm. You should ask your son to watch Liar Liar too. I I like. Oh yes. That. The initial, the very first scene, you know, it's just brilliant. Like, uh, do, do you remember the first scene in Liar Liar? No, I don't. But there's a couple. There's a couple scenes in it though that are really funny. I I can't remember the first one, but um, but yeah, they definitely. They it, it is a really funny movie. It is a really funny movie. Yes, when that case starts, you know, I, I I'm gonna tell you what that first scene is, but there's another scene that's really funny. Because because his son puts a hex on him, you know he can only talk the truth. Yes. He's a liar. He's mm -hmm. representing a client that he knows is lying. But but you know like um, on that particular day when he goes to court, like because his son put a hex on him, he can only talk the truth. Right. So when the when the when the proceedings will start, he'll get up and you say, "Your Honor, I'd right? like a continuance." And um, uh, and and the judge will ask, "Why? Like we've already had like three continuances. Why do you want a continuance today?" He said, because I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but, but the initial scene is in the school, you know, like his son is in the, like he's in the, he's this really small boy. He's in like kindergarten or something like that. Yeah. And the teacher will ask, um, so can you, can you guys tell me what your parents do for, a, what does your father do for a living? So the first girl will say, my father is a truck driver. And the second girl will say, my father is a doctor. And then uh, she'll ask Jim Carrey's son, and he'll say, my mother is a teacher. So she'll ask, that's fine, but what about your dad? He said, my dad is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Say, what do you mean? What do you mean? What does he do? He goes to the court and he talks to the judge. Oh, you mean a lawyer? He say, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Those kids, kids are right? so innocent. You know, it's so funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah. definitely. Well, um, well, yeah, I will definitely um I'll I'll put some things together today and get those to you. And then um and you have an AOL account. I have an AOL account too. I thought I was the only one that still had no, an no, AOL no. account. We are not that so old. <laughs> because uh, I like my AOL account because that's where I get all my spam. You know, I get like a million spam. That's fine. I can still go through it and find one useful mail every day. But when somebody is asking me for the email, you know, I know they're going to send me a bunch of stuff and add me to some newsletters, that kind of stuff. So my go-to email is AOL. Uh, you, you, you know, spam me as much as you want. I'm already getting a bunch of spam. I might as well get some more. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yes. And AOL is notorious for that. I get a lot of spam too. I just don't open everything. But I've exactly. had I've had the same I've had the same AOL account, I think, for probably 20 years. I mean right, right. But if it's some important email, you know, I can get it on my Gmail. But if it's newsletters mm -hmm. or that kind of stuff that I know I'm not gonna open, please send it to my AOL account. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So is that is that the email that you'd like me to use to send that stuff? Absolutely. But if it's something important, just text me too, saying, hey, I just sent you something, you know, that you need to sign or like when there's something important, definitely text me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. So what I'll do then, um, I'll, I'll include a document, I'll, I'll include some PDF attachments that talk about the, the work opportunity tax credit. That's the um, one I'm really interested in because I think we can open up a lot of doors with that particular brochure. That's something that I'm really interested in. Yes, ma'am. And also too, I will say that like with the payroll stuff, Raj, that um, if you if you know businesses that have like let's say for example, um, you know the the more employees they have is the is really I mean that's that's the bigger residual check you get. <laughs> definitely, definitely, I'm I, I'm I will be on the constant lookout. You know, like I meet a lot of business owners, but uh, if you send me information, the the thing that I need from you is. What is the question I need to ask them? You know, again, I don't need to need, I don't need to have a full training of what the service is. Sure. I just need to know what is the question that I need to ask to open up the door. You know, and if they sure. say yes to that question, you know, then I can say, hey, lady called Randman would be calling you to discuss more mm -hmm. on the subject. You know, so please send me that information. That's something that I'm very interested in. 
And from your side, you know, I'm going to send you some information that you can use to open up some doors on executive bonus plan and a couple of other products as well. So please take a look at that. And if you have any questions, just contact me. Perfect. Yeah, I will certainly do that. Um, and um, yeah, I so enjoy, I enjoy our meeting today, Raj. It was great. It was great talking with you. You're cool people. Awesome. Awesome. It's been very enjoyable talking to you as well. And I look forward to meeting you next time you're in California, Randon. Yes, definitely. Well, you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. All right, Raj. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>